Hi. So my wife, for Halloween, she dressed us all up as the Three Amigos. Now, if you remember the Three Amigos with Martin Short, Steve Martin, and Chevy Chase, classic movie. My three boys were the Three Amigos. They looked incredible. Our dog, Goldie, was a pinata. I mean, we didn't, you know, hit her with a bat, but, you know, I guess we... She does leave little, uh, you know, Tootsie Rolls on the on the white carpet. <laughs> so that's the kind of candy that spills out of her. But I was El Guapo. Do I have a plethora? You know, and she, my wife, was Hefe, and our daughter was a unicorn. I, I mean, it doesn't make sense, but it, it was, she was like our noble steed, I guess. And so we had a great time with this. My wife is amazing because she went to Savers, and I'm grateful she's a frugal shopper, but she went to Savers and found all these ideas and, and outfits and so forth. And then she came home, and she's painting with white glue at, on on these jackets and she did all the designs and then she and then she m bought a like a dress and cut it up and it became my scarf for El Wapo and then uh, and then I needed a cigar but it needed to be a huge cigar so she found some plastic nunchucks is that how you say it nunchucks or nunchucks whatever the, the, you know the 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 Bruce Lee yeah. oh, anyway so, you know, I had a, I had a Bruce Lee cigar. <laughs> it was awesome. But I thought, you know, what's so cool about this is that my wife, for years, for her whole life, has been great at that. That's her signature move. Like, everybody knows that she's great at throwing parties. Everybody knows she's going to go 100%. Everybody's called her Martha Stewart as kind of a nickname for her life because of all the good things that she's created. And, uh, and so the message I want to share with you today is back when she started doing all these things and we were first married, I would be upset. Because I was like, man, she's spending so much time and she's not spending time with me. She's doing all these crafts. And I would get upset while she was making nice meals for the neighbors. And I mean, I know it sounds like I'm a big jerk and maybe I am, but I was just selfish. I wanted the time with her instead. And it was her ability to, to share her signature moves, her talents, her gifts with the world by doing what she did and what she still does today. It wasn't until I shifted my mind and, and thought, you know, why don't I encourage her great talents? Why don't I appreciate them more? Why don't I tell her how cool it is that I think she's amazing? And when that happened, our marriage, which was already good, our marriage became that much better. And it's when we keep those types of promises to our family, the family at home, um, things can be really changed when we start to see the good in what everyone's trying to do. So the next time you're thinking, well, what's he doing in the garage? Get out of the garage! You know, maybe he's tinkering on something and maybe you should go out there and say, hey, can I help? Or encourage it and say, hey, I think the talents you have are cool. You're, uh, you're an amazing person. Unfortunately, we don't hear it enough and we don't say it enough. Um, same with the family at work, you know. There are so many employees that that are ticked off co-workers at each other. They just don't want to be there. But then there, then there are those that we go, man, I, I could work with that guy all, all the time. He's the best. And it's, it's just because they're grateful. It's just because they're appreciative and they're, they're willing to acknowledge what you've got and you can do the same for them and then work life becomes that much better. So this is my quick little message about that. Go check out my three amigos on jasonhewlett.com on my blog page. It would be fun for you to check it out.